If God were to offer to grant any of my requests, for what would I ask? Food for Soul and Goa Co-working present today's readings and reflection. February 5th, 2022. Memorial of St. Agatha, Virgin and Martyr. A reading from the first book of Kings. Solomon went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, because that was the most renowned high place. Upon its altar, Solomon offered a thousand burnt offerings. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, Ask something of me, and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, You have shown great favor to your servant, my father David, because he behaved faithfully toward you, with justice and an upright heart. And you have continued this great favor toward him, even today, seating a son of his on his throne. O Lord my God, you have made me your servant, king to succeed my father David. But I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, Because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding so that you may know what is right, I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now, and after you there will come no one to equal you. In addition, I give you what you have not asked for, such riches and glory that among kings there is not your like. The Word of the Lord The Responsorial Psalm The response is, Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way? By keeping to your words. Lord, teach me your statutes. With all my heart I seek you, let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart I treasure your promise, that I may not sin against you. Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees I rejoice, as much as in all riches. Lord, teach me your statutes. Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord, I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all that they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When Jesus disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection on Today's Readings by Bob Learning and wisdom are key points from our readings today. 
The passage from 1 Kings is the account of God's offering King Solomon any gift and Solomon's choosing wisdom. The responsorial focuses on being taught the ways of the Lord. In the Gospel, Jesus gives a retreat to his recently returned missionaries slash apostles and then continues to minister to and teach the multitudes who come to him. The key figure of our first reading is King Solomon. We hear today how God promises to give Solomon a gift of the king's own choosing. Solomon selects an understanding heart. For the ancient people of Israel, the heart was the seat of wisdom, so Solomon requests wisdom. God blesses Solomon in his choice and says that not only will Solomon have wisdom, but many other gifts because of his selection of the gift of wisdom. The responsorial psalm builds on the idea of wisdom as it speaks of learning the ways of the Lord and keeping all of God's ordinances. The response sums up King Solomon's prayer, Lord, teach me your decrees. Seeking God's will is wisdom, in the gospel a few things happen within the five verses on which we reflect. The apostles return from their missionary excursions. They are excited about what has happened. Jesus realizes that they need to spend some time reflecting on their experiences and putting all of those experiences into perspective. As they head out to sea, the people who have been following Jesus and the apostles figure out where Jesus and his companions are heading. And the people travel by land to the place where those in the boat will be. When Jesus sees the crowd and realizes their desire to receive what he has to offer, he is moved with compassion and reaches out to meet their needs. Jesus teaches them many things, my reflection today leads me to ponder what is wisdom. Wisdom is different from knowledge. Knowledge is the ability to recall information that one has learned. Knowledge is more often partly rote, that is it does not take as much of a conscientious thought process. Even books and computer databases have knowledge. Wisdom is the ability to apply the truth to one's life and the lives of others. Wisdom is more of an active response. It means one has to apply one's conscience and knowledge to what is presented and then make good choices. Solomon asks for an understanding heart, that is, wisdom. He seeks the truth from the author of truth, God. Wisdom thus entails trying to see things as God sees them, hearing what God hears, acting as God would act. It means one has to be in touch with God, in relationship with God, and let God's will drive one's actions. In the Gospel, the Apostles return from their first mission. They seem to be focused more on what they did than what God did through them. Jesus wants to share his wisdom with them. His wisdom comes from his relationship with his Abba Father. Jesus wants the apostles to see that it is God who has given them power and authority. As they crossed the sea in the boat, Jesus probably tried to turn their excitement into enthusiasm. Excitement, to me, is one's personal feelings and positive reaction to what is happening. Enthusiasm comes from two Greek words, N equals in, Theos equals God. Thus those who are truly enthusiastic knows that God is within them, and they are in touch with God. As they approach the shore, Jesus demonstrates his wisdom, his being in touch with God, his enthusiasm. He sees the people standing on the shore waiting for him. He realizes his mission from his Abba Father is to bring good news, the presence of God, to those who need it and seek it. Jesus has compassion on the people. 
He sees their needs and wants to help them. Thus Jesus turns to the crowd and ministers to them. What all of this says to me is that I should seek wisdom. I should want to see others as Jesus sees them, with compassion. I should listen to others as Jesus did, with my full attention to what they are saying. It means I should act as Jesus did, serving others and providing the good news of God's presence with them. Wisdom demands that I consciously choose to act in a way God would have me act. Wisdom implies being in touch with God and then putting that relationship into action. Wisdom should lead to an enthusiastic response. Let us join with the psalmist today and pray, Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. The personal question slash action for today, if God were to offer to grant any of my requests. For what would I ask? Would it be riches, fame, peace, wisdom, understanding, or something else? What does wisdom mean to me? Do I seek to make my decision based upon my relationship with the Lord Jesus? Do I spend enough time in reflection so that I might become enthusiastic, conscious of God within me? How can I reach out to others with the compassion and the wisdom of God? Let us pray, Blessed are you, Lord God of all truth. Through your goodness, you have sent your Son, Jesus, to us. He brings your message of good news to those who are in need. Jesus is the truth and embodiment of all wisdom, for he conscientiously sought to apply his relationship with you to his ministry to others. Jesus gives us the best of example of enthusiastic service of others. As we come into your presence today through this reflection time, we ask that your Holy Spirit pour into our heads and our hearts the gift of divine wisdom. Empower us to focus on the truth and consciously choose to follow the example of your Son. May we enthusiastically reach out with compassion and serve the people whom you have entrusted to our care. May we see them as you and your Son see them, people who need to be reassured of your loving presence in their lives. May we take the time to listen to their stories and edify, build up, them with the truth. May we care for them as you would have us care for them. We pray this enthusiastically through your Son, Jesus, our Lord and Master Teacher, who continues to compassionately minister to others through us as he is living and reigning with you and the Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Presented by Father Frankie Fernandez OFM Capuchin Justice Peace Integrity Creation JPIC Capuchin Goa